going to be giving you a step-by-step -step drop servicing tutorial in this video. So whether you're a complete drop servicing beginner or an advanced level drop servicer, you're definitely gonna find something interesting in this video. Let's go. Step one. So first of all, if you're new to drop servicing and if you're new to my channel, the first thing we need to talk about is what is drop servicing and how does it work? Drop servicing is a simple business model. It's a cousin of drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically where you sell someone's products, you get the money and you take the difference. With drop servicing, it's the same process. The only difference is we're actually selling someone else's services, we're collecting the payment, we're paying the supplier and we're keeping the profit. Step two. Guys, so the second thing we need to talk about is how much money do you actually need to start a drop servicing business model? Guys, I'm gonna be very honest here. So even though you can start with zero and you've probably seen some challenges on my channel where I started with zero and made money, but for an average person that has absolutely no experience with drop servicing business model, you should be able to start with around 500 bucks. This allows you to buy email lists, this allows you to get good suppliers, and this allows you to actually buy some software to automate things. So guys, 500 bucks is tops that you need for this business model to start successfully. Step three. So what do we actually need to start a drop sizing business? First, we need a computer, laptop, or a smartphone. Second, we need some time because what we're doing here is we're managing suppliers and we're managing clients. So we need some time. We need around eight hours or 10 hours a week to actually do this part-time. If you're not doing it full-time, eight or 10 hours a week is definitely enough. And third, we need a payment system like PayPal, like Stripe, like Wise or a bank account that you can use to receive payments. Step four. The next important thing before starting a drop sizing business, guys, is you need to do a lot of market research to figure out what kind of service offering you're gonna offer, guys. And to do that, it's very, very simple. I'm gonna put a few screen captures on the screen right now so you can see how to find these service offerings on Fiverr.com. And Fiverr.com is gonna be the site that we're gonna use to actually find service providers for most of our orders. And guys, here's the thing. You wanna find a service offering that is fairly low competition and fairly high demand. Step five. And this step, guys, is super, super critical for your success with drop servicing. And that is choosing a niche. There's two types of niches that you guys have to choose. First of all is the service niche. For example, what kind of service are you actually offering? Is it video editing? Is it graphic design? Is it copywriting? Is it explainer videos? Is it web design? You know, there's so many different service niches, guys. And I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen right now so you can see what kind of service niches there are out there, and there is hundreds, really. And then the second type of niche is the market niche. What kind of market are you going for? Are you going for real estate agents? Are you going for YouTubers? Are you going for restaurants? tech startups you know what kind of market niche you're going for but guys you want to focus on something that's gonna work really really well so the market is gonna work well and the product service offering is gonna work really well that way you can succeed with this business model much 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 faster step six next once you select your service niche and once you select your market niche the next step is to create your offering in writing Guys, to do this, we can use ChatGPT and for example, type in, I'm going to be offering graphic design for clients in this niche. You know, what kind of text should I be using as my text offering? And ChatGPT will create the text for you guys. But of course, I'm not a fan of just using ChatGPT blindly, guys. I'm using ChatGPT for a lot of my business purposes, but I always rewrite it because ChatGPT sometimes provides very long sales pages and sales messages. What we want is short, snappy, and very, very targeted message, guys. So you need to create that as an email. You need to create that as a, a DM message for Instagram, LinkedIn, and maybe a post that you can post on Reddit, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, or a similar kind of social media. Step seven. And once you've created your text offering, guys, the next step is to start client outreach. I've got three videos on my channel already talking about where to get clients and ways to get clients, guys. So watch those videos for more info. But basically, there is no magic, guys. There's basically three ways to actually get clients. Social media, direct email, and cold calls, guys. These are the three ways that most people in drop sizing, SMMA, and similar kind of models are getting clients, guys. There's absolutely no magic. You need to start doing the outreach and start creating the buzz around your drop sizing business, guys. The more people you contact with the right message, the more clients you're going to get. Step eight. Next, once you find a potential client on social media, by text, by email, or similar kind of text format, as I teach you guys, always ask for a WhatsApp number or a Zoom or Google Meet call. And then guys, once you get on the call, that's when you do the selling. 
Never do the selling by text, by email and similar kind of matter, guys. It doesn't work. You need to get on a physical call. Get on the phone or get on a Zoom or get on Google Meet. Guys, this is gonna increase your chances of landing a client. Step nine. The next part is the fun part, guys, and that is to get paid. Getting paid in drop sizing is super important because, guys, in this business model, most of the time, we're going to get paid first, and then we use that money to actually fulfill the order to the client. But there is an exception. If you don't have a strong portfolio or if drop servicing is new to you, if you're just getting started, sometimes you want to deliver an order first and then ask for the money. But if you have regular clients, please ask for a prepayment. So for example, they can pay a few orders in advance and then you deliver the work once you have that trust. And then guys, you need to think about three things. First of all, you need to set up a PayPal account because this is super, super useful for invoices and also it's very easy to get paid using a credit card or a PayPal account. And then guys, the other thing is you need to have a bank account because some clients want to pay into a bank account. And then you need to consider an invoicing solution. As I said, PayPal already has that included, but if you don't have that, you need to think about how you're gonna be creating invoices to send to your clients. Step 10. And finally guys, once you actually get a client, agree on a deal, get a deposit or secure a full payment, the next step and the final step is to actually find a supplier. Go on to fiverr.com, upwork.com, freelancer.com, peopleperhour.com or any other website that allows you to find suppliers very, very simply and that is actually legit and then find a supplier there for the service that you were advertising. And then of course guys, you need to be managing that process. In order to get good results of drop servicing, you can't just simply put those people together because if they get into contact, your client is not gonna be happy, first of all. You need to be managing this process all along, guys. And here's the thing, once you actually get the project delivered, send it to the client, get the revisions if there are any revisions, send them over to the supplier, get them done, and then send it back to your client. Once there are no revisions whatsoever, once the client is fully happy, ask for the final amount and you are done. Another super common question guys that I get quite often and that is why does drop sizing work? Why don't these clients just go onto Fiverr or Upwork and order this service themselves? And the answer is guys, it's the same answer why dropshipping works. Why don't people just find the website, the end supplier and buy it from there? Well, they don't know about it. And secondly, why does the same thing work in supermarkets? In one supermarket, a product could cost $3, in another one it could cost $5. Why don't people just go to that one which is cheaper? Well, because they don't know about it. You don't have the full information at any point in your life. And also, some people, if you approach them at the right time, they have the money, they can't be bothered to even go and look at all these websites all over online to find that specific product offering or that specific service offering. They just want to get that service done and forget about it. So how much money can you actually make using drop sizing business model? And the answer is guys, once you get through all those 10 steps and once you fulfill an order, you know, you can make anything from 100 bucks to 1000 bucks, perhaps even 5000 bucks depending on the niche. So it is super, super realistic to earn around 1000 bucks a month. It is actually super realistic. I've done it part time myself. But if you wanna go into higher figures, let's say $5,000 a month in net profit, not revenue, profit, you pretty much have to work on it full time. But if you get to that kind of a figure, it's probably going to be worth your time anyway. So that is you guys, how to start and operate a drop sizing business from A to Z in 10 easy steps. But I wanna tell you just one more thing. I'm starting to get a lot of emails. The more videos I put on, the more emails I get from you guys asking for help with drop servicing. And there's two questions that most of you are asking. Do I offer a course? And secondly, do I offer mentorship? So the answer to the first question is, at the moment, I don't have a course. I wanna grow this YouTube channel to 50,000 or 100,000 subscribers in the near future, and then I'm probably going to make a course for a very low price, maybe it's gonna be 50 bucks or 100 bucks, something like that. But for now, guys, I'm just offering mentoring. Yes, I do offer mentoring, and yes, I do work with some people right now. So if you're interested in getting started with drop servicing, launching your own drop servicing business, and potentially making either a side hustle level income or a 
need full-time income, drop me an email here and we can talk about it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Drop a like for the YouTube. I'll go subscribe to my channel and watch this video next.